Hello my friend, I'm so happy to see you here. Today I'm going to show you how you can make planets that you can use in your games. And uh, well, let's just get started. I'll just fire up max easy terrain. It will just take a second and we can get on with it. And just to uh, anything you create here in the terrain editor, whatever kind of landscape you make, you can turn into a planet. And what you do is go into this tab, and then under the planet generator, you just click, click create planet. And we got just takes a few seconds. And then we have it right here. You can rotate the planet. You can see we can't see the water, so I'm just going to make it less transparent so we get the water into the planet. Like so. And now you can see the water. Sure, you can make it uh, other colors or whatever you wish. So that's it, we now have a planet. We can just export this to um, GameCoder Max. We can do that directly here as a DPO, where it will create all the assets you need, like the FPI files, textures, and DPO. So you, have, you don't need to import it. Or you can uh, export it for use in other engines, like Flax Engine, Unity, or AGK. And we just uh, export the OPJ and the source textures, so you can use them directly. But uh, let's export this to GameGuru Max. You can see it will open up in the user folder. Oh, we need to give it a name. Should we call it Blue Planets Export? And if you just want it into the user folder, then you just click OK. That's it. It's now exported into GameGuru Max. So, you have a lot of other options here, like uh, the set you can change the water color. If you want green water on your planet. Like so. Oh, you can use a lot. Like if you wanted, I want a grayscale planet. Just do this. Here you go. You get a grayscale planet. There's some other choices, like you can uh, place it in the sky if you want to test how it would look. With like if we move the planet out to right out here. It's, you see it's very tiny so we just make it uh, larger. Move it farther away. Make it larger again. Here you can see we get in to get in uh, to the back of the skies which looks really great. I could place it here. Oops. Let's just uh, see. Well, let's just uh, have it here. That's fine. And we can log it in, and it will stay there. So we can move around, and it will stay at that position. So you can see how it will look from different spots on your level. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we can also try to make an amber planet using the lot. Yeah, I like that. That looks uh, awesome. That's a great looking planet. Let's remove the lot. We have other options, like you can now set the plant color. Like if I wanted a red planet, you could just uh, select a red color and create the planet. Generating. Now here we have a red planet. So, 
that's how you can use this uh, Polosoral Planet Generator. Also, you can specify the resolution you want the textures exported in. So, it's pretty easy to use, and uh, whatever you do uh, here with your landscape, that is what is getting into the planet. So, you could try to change it into another landscape, like so. Perhaps have more water. Remove the trees. Uh, we could try to make it uh, a white beach and uh, dark rock. Well, there's nearly no rock, so uh, perhaps we should try to m use a custom texture in this one. We'll just select a custom texture folder. Just load in the custom textures and we can select them here, like lava, put it down here, perhaps also make the slope lava, like that, make this uh, a dark, a dark texture like this, and this one we could make it uh, like this, and try to generate this. I've just set it like this, so we can get a lava, a lava planet. Oh, where did we place the planet? Oh, up there. Ah, yeah, this look great. Well, perhaps it should have uh, blue water instead. Might look better. Yeah, there you go. Great looking. You can just uh, move it around a bit here. You can place it anywhere you like. That looks pretty nice. Over here, yeah. Okay, so uh, that's the new uh, planet generator. Very easy to use, so... Uh, so, uh, we now have... Uh, the planet generator, you have the rock generator where you can uh, generate Portoire rocks and export them directly. It just looks, just use uh, Portoire generation to make uh, different types of rocks. We have the road generator where you can easily make a uh, Portoire road. Just make one quickly here. Close, smooth, texture, create a pass, and create a mesh, a road mesh, like that. And here we have a, a prototype generated road that follows the terrain around, just so you can see it, Oops, and adjust the UV. So it fits here, like so. And then sure, we have the low polar landscape the, that can convert any type of landscape into a 3D low polar landscape, like so. And uh, you have the you have the ability to. Um, Select uh, how many polygons you want in your landscape, so we can lower it, or set it higher. But uh, let's try to look at how how the planet we exported to Game Guru Max looks. Just start it up, and close this down, so you can see how we can use it inside Game Guru Max. It is just loading. Well, while I load, uh, perhaps you should uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. Well, it's loaded, so 
let's get going just jump into this default level and let's check out if uh, yeah it's right there and available to use without any important you just set it uh, here and there you have it now let's try to place it up in the sky perhaps we need to go up to up in the sky yeah it's so small we can't see it and perhaps a little out to the sides where are you there and scale it up too large too small great Ah, okay, it's really large. Let's just move it. Let's move it to... Do, 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 do. Let's see... No? 9,000? 8,000? Get it closer? A little closer? Well, that was that's uh, fine. Perhaps we just remove some of the fog here. Well, let's just uh, two hundred. So, and we are able to see it. The sun is there, and uh, you can see how great it looks. Now let's try to. Um, perhaps make it rotate. Uh, we can just uh, first thing you need to do is make sure that when it is so long away object, you need to set it always active. So we just do that. Then you can select the behavior. Let's see what we got. Add FX by um, I believe this uh, is also able to rotate. Let's try that. You need to give it the planet name here, object name, that it should uh, move. We don't want it to hover. D -d 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 -d. We like it to spin. Okay, let's try that. Let's just uh, place our player right here. Oops, no weapons. And let's try to test the level. And there you go. We have a spinning planet on our level. Great, and it looks great. So that's how easy you can get it into GameCube Max or any other engine for that matter. So, that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, I will upload this version right now, so you can, uh, if you subscribe to my Patreon, you can download this version now and uh, make some planets for yourself. And uh, I will really appreciate that. You will support the work, and uh, this is a great thing. So, thanks for that, and uh, until next time. Have a great day.